lies, don't waste my time. How about that? How about Come that? get what you deserve. What's the word? What's the catch? What's the catch? Hey. girl Raya Chanel and I'm back with another video so today's video is a confidence video as I promised some time ago but you're getting it now um this as you can see by the title this video is about people's irrelevant opinions about you and why they don't matter and before I start um don't think that like the, don't think that the title means every single body's opinion doesn't matter that's not what I'm trying to say like everyone's opinions and feelings does matter when but like when it's when it comes to you and it's like um like what they think about you and how they feel about you and it's not positive and they're not trying to help you and they don't have your best interest at, at heart that's when it's irrelevant and that's when it doesn't matter like like um your outfit or your hair your eyebrows like if it's their opinion is not positive it's not helping you they don't have your best interest at heart that's when it's a, an irrelevant opinion like if it's a bully's opinion or a mean person a mean um person at your high school opinion or job or college or middle school whatever opinion or if it's simply like or if like if it's if it's simply isn't coming from like a person's heart and they're not trying to help you that's what i mean like they they're not here for you and they're they're not beat for you and they're really trying to bring you down and they're telling you they're telling you their opinion without really trying to help you that's when their opinion is irrelevant so before i get into this story well before i i get into this advice um video i want to start with a background story so this is probably around the time when I was in the seventh grade and I used to heavily depend on people's opinion and but before I realized that I was doing that people used to just give me their opinion just like that whether it was my outfit my hair my my <laughs> eyebrows well I didn't do my eyebrows my shoes and anything like they would just give me their opinion and I was like okay they're trying to help me they're really here for me so let me listen to it and let me try to change myself so I realized that the people who were giving me their opinion wasn't beat for me and they used like they used to like try and use me as a way to um, feel better about themselves and what I want you to do is I want you to like realize when someone's trying to do that to you like don't stick around people who only use who only beat you down to make themselves feel better because that right there that's a toxic person and on your confidence journey you don't need to be around people who are not trying to help you and like who are trying to beat you down so they can feel better those are not friends and those are not people that you want to have have around so it's always better to keep like a small circle of friends which is what i have now like i don't have no big group of friends i'm not popular none of that no i keep a small circle of friends we're all cool we all love each other we all here for each other and that's what you need one day one day i'm gonna have them on this channel so y'all can see how how like we really here for each other but um, but yeah, so seventh grade, I used to like felt like I used to feel like I needed people's opinions, and like they were really trying to help help me. Um, and like it wasn't opinions on anything like um, like schoolwork or like um, or anything that's like really gonna like benefit me. It was opin opinions on looks, and. At that time, I didn't realize that things like that shouldn't really matter. Like, what should matter is the kind of person you are and what you want to do in life and how you want to... And if you're happy, that's what matters. But I was focused on looks and because um, at that time I wasn't really confident because I just wasn't. And I feel like that's the stage for most people. Like Sometimes they're going to feel insecure. And it's okay, okay? It's okay. But... You just have to get past that and learn how to love yourself. So, um, that summer, no, it wasn't that summer. Um, it, so after eighth grade, if you don't know, in eighth grade, I was bullied. I was bullied, and um, that summer, I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna work on myself, and I, because I want to be happy, like I don't want to sit here and feel sorry for myself because I was being bullied. Uh, uh, I want to feel happy, so that's what I did. That summer, I realized that people who didn't have my best interest at heart, who were constantly giving me their opinions about me and my looks, it, their opinions don't, that opinion doesn't really matter. And that's not something that I should stick to and constantly think about. 
like you gotta learn how to tune things out like if they're like oh um i don't like your shoes oh sis you're not wearing them so i don't care oh i don't like your hair it's not on your head you ain't paid for it to get it done so i don't care um recently not recently it was a couple of months ago my friend one of my friends that's in my circle one of my friends she was um it was this girl i don't know her name it doesn't even matter because i'm not gonna say her name anyway so it was this girl she told my she was talking about my friend she was like she tried to do her edges and my friend was like like she didn't care like she's not gonna let that bother her simply because she liked her edges she liked her hair and she knew who she knows who she is as a person so it didn't bother her and she came and told me like girl like is she serious and she simply let it go because she realized that that opinion right there was irrelevant and she didn't she doesn't need it she ain't asked for it she don't care she did her edges she likes it it doesn't matter so that's that's one example that i want to tell you guys another one it's like in my um in my last confidence video when i told you guys about my shoes and a guy who didn't like them he used to talk about them yep and um like that's an example too because i my mom bought these shoes i like these shoes i'm gonna wear these shoes you about to take them off my foot okay um and like who, who else it's um hold on, hold on. i was in the seventh grade i want to give you guys a whole bunch of examples because i really want you guys to learn from this so um i was in the seventh grade and this is when i this is one of those times where i heavily depended on people's opinions and i need them it was this um this girl and she was a toxic person too but i didn't realize that and i'm just like oh she's my friend she's trying to help me no she is not she, she was not my friend hold on hold on i'm finna spill the tea honey okay you feel me? you feel me So, um, it was this, this girl, I was like, I used to depend on her opinion, I used to be like, okay, she know what she talking about, cause she popping and she popular, so she could help me get like that too, so, she was, um, she, I had these sneakers that my mom bought me, and I liked them, I did, and, um, they weren't Jordans, they weren't popping, there wasn't that shoe that I was like, eh, I like it, I and it wasn't like one of those like popping shoes that everybody like everybody want. No, it was a shoe that my mom bought me. I went out and I picked it up myself because I was like, this is cute. I like it. I want it. And I'm not a sneaker head. Like if I see a sneaker that I like, I'm going to buy it and I'm going to wear it because I like it. Because like if I go in my outfit or something. So I had these shoes and uh, I'm not going to say the brand because honestly, it didn't matter. They were cute and I'm going to leave it at that. They were cute. So this girl, I was um, I was coming out of, of of a classroom to go to my next one, and she was like, she was like, I'm gonna say my real name. She was like, Sharai, why are you wearing those grandma shoes? I was like, <gasps> like you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like you know I'm not happy. You know I'm trying to see if it'll work out here, and I know that it's not. I know how I feel. Why would you say that? <laughs> Like, you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like, you know I'm not happy. You know I'm trying to see. I was hurt. And I was like, okay, um, I'm never wearing these shoes again. <laughs> and really, after that, I didn't wear my sh those shoes again. Like, it's not like they could fit me now. If they could fit me now, I'd wear them. Honestly, I'd wear them because they were cute. But, um... But yeah, she's like, Shrey, why are you wearing those grandma shoes? I'm not gonna sit here and act like I wasn't hurt because I was hurt. I was like, wow. And that's an example because that's how you know that that she's a toxic person. She wasn't here for me. She wasn't beat for me. She didn't have my best interest at heart because they were not grandma shoes. They were some cute shoes. So, yes. Um, yeah, those are like examples of like people with their opinions and how they don't matter and why they don't matter. So what you should do well, well, yeah, what you should do, I do this all the time. Um, when there's something that I like and I know that, like, people might not like them and, like, I know that they're going to, like, give me opinion, uh, their opinion on it that I don't really care about, you want to know what I do? I wear it and I wear it proudly. And it's hard. Like, it's, this is easier said than done, but... 
you can't like live your whole life thinking about somebody else's opinion oh she thinks that and they think this and he think no these opinions don't don't hold them close to you and live your life by them no like these are standards that are set for you so you can look like everybody else people don't like it when somebody else is different so when they see something different they're gonna be like oh you wearing this different i'm about to come for you to make myself feel better don't let people do that to you like if you have something or like you wearing something you act in the way or whatever and like people make a comment on it do this do one of these ew she mad ugly look at her uh yeah girl we talking about you exactly exactly you know you hurt mm-hmm yep feel bad yup exactly we know that you care that's why that's why we know you stink mm-hmm yeah yup yup we know <laughs> why you laughing baby i don't care why is you laughing oh for real we don't like your mm-hmm. hair either or your edges or yeah. your eyebrows or none wow, of that word? Mm-hmm. Wow. we don't like them okay. and right, your shoes cool. your shoes mad ugly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? I think okay. they cost right, right, two dollars. Right. Yup. Mm. Uh-huh. We don't like them, sweetheart. Take them oh, off. Oh, right. Take them yeah. off right now. Uh-huh. Why she pulling out hair I don't know. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, we talking to you. Uh-huh. We think your shoes huh. ugly. Uh-huh. I'm a boss ass bitch. 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 Chantel, bitch. I don't think she can bitch. hear. Yes, she bitch. can. She can bitch. hear us. Bitch. That's exactly what I want you to do. Act extra bougie. Be like, all right, sis, I don't care. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Like, like I said, these opinions don't matter. You're going to grow up, get out of high school, elementary school, middle school, whatever kind of school you're in, wherever you're at, you're going to get out of it. And you're just going to, when you get out of it, you're going to be like, why did I hold myself to these standards and these opinions? And why did I let other people hold me to these opinions and standards that I don't care about now? Because those opinions and those standards and whatever, they're not going to pay your bills. No. They're not going to pay that college, college tuition. They're not going to get your hair braided. They're not going to buy you that Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter or eyebrow pomade. They're not. So at the end of the day, you got to realize, okay, this is what I think about myself. And this is what I like about myself. And that's it. Well, this is, all right, so if it's like your mother, your sister, your brother, your father, your auntie, uncle, whatever, and they are like here for you and they really try to help you, like, look. You should do this because this isn't okay. And, like, they have your best interest at heart. That's when you should listen. Or if it's your friend and they're like, listen, this is not okay. And, they're like, they have your best interest at heart and you really 100% sure that they have your best interest at heart. That's when you should listen. But if they're, like, if it's people who you know are not 100% here for you and they're really not trying to, like, be here for you and they're trying to tell you your opinion, you got to realize when it matters and, like, when it really doesn't. So that's my um, Confidence 101 video for you guys today. Um, comment down below and say whatever, honestly. I really don't care. If you watch a video, I want to I wanna see a comment, honestly. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Share with your friends. Show your mama, your uncle, your auntie, your brother, your sister, your grandmother, your grandfather, your dang dog, and your dang cat. I want everybody to see this video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. I wanna la 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 la